feel that your conversation with Herzog led to him committing suicide? I, I have little doubt. Well, a local bounty hunter taking credit for a serial killer's suicide, but does he hold the key to solving one last mystery? One of those mysteries, where to find the victims of the speed freak killers. Andrea Borba got exclusive access as a local bounty hunter started his search. Andrea? Well, Seth, Eric, the hunt for the victims of Wesley Sherman Tyne and Lauren Hergaz. Herzog is always focused on these hills behind me in Calaveras County. Late last week, from death row, Sherman Tyne spilled the beans and set off a series of events that may finally, years later, lead to law enforcement's discovery of all of those bodies. It appears the search area for the victims of the speed freak killers just got a lot smaller. Just, where do you begin? According to Wesley Sherman Tyne's tip, the bodies of Chevelle Wheeler and Cindy Vanderheiden are here in the rugged hills behind the Sherman Tyne family hunting lodge in San Andreas. That's always been suspected, but those two are likely only the bookend victims of Sherman Tyne and Lauren Herzog's killing spree. The story has always been that there's been more than just those two. I mean, they don't take a break from 85 to 98. Sherman Tyne on death row has always claimed to know where all of the bodies are. He wrote letter after letter, sometimes demanding money for information, often giving bogus tips. This time, Leonard Padilla says it was different. He said that there was a well on Lauren Herzog's property with 10 bodies in it that they had put there, poured gas down there, burnt the bodies, filled in the well. Padilla called the recently paroled Herzog in Lassen County and told him it was time to lawyer up. He didn't respond to anything other than the well situation. He started hyperventilating. Tuesday morning, Herzog was found hanging in his trailer. In the minds of Padilla and Rob Dick, the suicide lends credibility to Sherman Tyne's claim. His suicide confirms the details as true. I mean, you know, he was free. He, he was going to be completely released in September. This is the Herzog property in Linden. That home in the middle is Lauren's old house. Both bounty hunters are confident this latest tip will provide closure to the families and new answers about the serial killers. There's going to recover remains that would have put him back in prison, probably on death row next to West. Now tomorrow, San Joaquin County Sheriff Steve Moore and Calaveras County Sheriff Gary Kuntz will get together to try to decide whether to bring in FBI evidence recovery teams to both of those locations, Stephan Eric. All right, Andrea Borba, live for us Sunday in the newsroom. Thank you very much. It's a story that you